continue with uh, what we did last time, uh, which is uh, pivot tables, right? Because we have already started that, we will take it to the logical closure. Um, and uh, last time we had the following things. Basically, we uh, had a sort of a quick, uh, you know, relevance of Excel kind of a thing. Right, um, and we said, okay, it is uh, long lasting. I compared that with uh, Godrej Almira, so swap is still right there, <laughs> uh, which looks like a Godrej Almira, right? Um, so it has been around for like um, you know, maybe at least two to three generations now. Huh? Uh, we also said it's very transparent and uh, easy to understand, um, uh, easy to get to what. It does okay uh, whether or not a particular formula is uh, intelligible quickly or not but you can get to it very quickly and that's a very uh, a very important thing so people are very comfortable and so it is you know uh, widely prevalent and so on uh, and um, also we said uh, it is one of the easiest ways to uh, get to doing analysis quickly um, and you can do really uh, high quality analysis, you know, spreadsheet is the nature. Uh, so these are all the various things that we discussed in terms of what uh, Excel is all about. Um, then uh, we uh, learned a few uh, shortcuts uh, like the select all and a few others, right? Uh, and we quickly got to doing the pivot table, right? Um, and within the pivot table, um, we basically looked at uh, how to build a pivot table um, so i think you know a, a number of things that we did uh, last time were uh, i think pretty basic uh, i feel maybe uh, you may have felt it was pretty basic um, so i still wanted to cover it anyway so this time we will cover a little bit a uh, little bit more in depth okay um, so let me just uh, go back uh, into this uh, pivot table and uh, let me just get this out um, okay, right there. I think I have to like uh, put this back right now. Okay, this is where so I'm going to put this back to some, and there you go. So that's what we saw last time. I'm going to pull this out. Okay, all right, okay, cool. So, um, so what we are going to do this time is the following. Um, so we are going to still stay with the same area. Uh, so basically this is what we did. Uh, this is uh, essentially we went in here and we went into summarize value field by and we looked at all of these, right? So uh, some count average and so on and so forth. So one of the things that we uh, was a little different from usual was this uh, warp, right? Which is um, basically uh, variance for population as opposed to variance for a sample okay um, so uh, we assume it is generally for a population right so uh, these days but uh, earlier they have a, a sample based mechanism as well okay so i'll switch it back to some now today we will see a little bit into what show values as uh, you know does okay um, so this is something that uh, I think uh, Jagadish will relate to quite a bit. <laughs> so if you look at it, uh, a lot of these have uh, calculations um, and uh, these are very very uh, similar to what uh, Tableau uh, table calculations are. Okay, so, um, so we'll go over some of these uh, or actually most of these and uh, yeah. So, um, so the first is uh, percentage of grand total. Okay, you click on this, right? So it will uh, take that grand total as the hundred percent, okay? And it will compute everything else as a percentage of this number, okay? All right, so let's go over to the next one. Um, then you have a percentage of column total, uh, self-explanatory, right? percentage of column total so each column sort of becomes 100 percent including the grand total and every other number is calculated as a percentage okay um, then let's go to the next one um, which is percentage of row total no surprises okay all right uh, then you have percentage of 
okay so uh, this is interesting uh, so if you see if you click on uh, you, you can sort of there is a, a base field and there is a base item okay so base field means basically for each of the items that we have here um, but uh, if you select a base uh, item then what it does is it basically selects that as the hundred percent and everything else becomes a percentage of that base item so in this case we selected furniture so office supplies technology etc becomes uh, a percentage of that base item so let me we have a okay so yeah so um, so that is what percentage of uh, does all right so let's look at the next one so a quick huh. question yeah uh, yeah please so uh, you know grand total of columns has been scaled out huh is there any yeah it has been reason? correct i think that is because you uh, the um, you know category is chosen and category is here and so it is actually computing for that Okay. okay it is uh, so uh, i don't know why it hides column uh, i'm not so sure if it even makes sense in this particular case so probably that's the reason uh, so maybe i think it could have shown uh, grand total so far as column is concerned as a percentage of furniture but here it chooses not to hmm? so in this case like can we remove that grand total from the column Ah uh, yes, yes, it is possible. So in a different way, not from here, but if you look at uh, pivot table options, right? So you have pivot table options right here. Okay. Um, so in the options, you have uh, totals and filters. Okay. So uh, so this is for rows basically. If I remove that, it will go away. Okay. That's true. Thanks. Yeah. So let me just bring that back up. Okay, so um, just to give you guys a little bit uh, of uh, you know uh, an example, another example, you can choose office supplies. Now office supplies becomes hundred percent, and everything else becomes a percentage of uh, that particular number. Hmm? So you can see this becomes hundred percent and so on. Right? It's clear, na? Okay. So uh, all right. So let's take this so next one. So here something that is very interesting is previous. Mm -hmm. um so i think uh, jagdish might now say it is actually taking straight from tableau <laughs> i don't know who took from which one <laughs> but you have something called um previous as opposed to just taking one certain one so you can click okay then you can see here so the first one remains 100% okay so the next one becomes the 100 uh, as a percentage of the previous one okay so uh, so let me just show it to you here I am. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly uh, remove the calculation, so you'll get the base numbers, and I'm going to just uh, copy paste uh, these numbers um, away from here, so that you can uh, see that also. Okay. I hope you are able to see both tables now. Yes. Uh, are the numbers being hidden right now? No, no. No. Okay. Got it. Okay. So. Um, All right. So let me just go back here, and I'm going to select this. Okay. So once again, uh, it has uh, where were we? We were at percentage off, right? Okay. Now, uh, if I select the previous, all right, then what it does is I'll just do this for you. So the furniture is very clear, right? Furniture is um, 100%. So if I take this. You'll be able to see. So that is ninety-three percent. Okay, right. So once again, I'll do the same calculation. You can see here. It basically does this number divided by this number. Okay. So leading up to one hundred and eleven point six six percent. Clear, na? Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, then let's go to the next one again. Uh, show values as next is sort of very similar. Okay. So it's the reverse. The bottom one becomes hundred percent, and it does the other calculation. Okay. All right. Uh, so, all right. So now let's go back here. Okay. Now percentage of row total. Uh, sorry, parent row total. This is a little interesting. So actually, let me go back. There's a separate table here. So, um, so, so here what I did is so basically you can do this. You can go back and 
cricket is here so what i did was i did a uh, percentage of total i also brought in region okay as the uh, new field which is a little sort of parent kind of a field and you can actually select region right here okay you can select others also but i have just selected region so uh, let me just uh, so you, it's clear right so i have selected percentage of parent total right here okay this one okay and i have selected region and i clicked on okay and this is what it does what it does is it basically makes the region 100% okay and it makes everything else as a percentage of this 100% so uh, let me just show it to you first of all so uh, this all of these add up to furniture total okay and then same with office supplies 36.94% are you guys able to see this here yes yeah? and same with technology and so on but if i add up these three totals okay they become 100% okay and at the central level it becomes 100% okay and the same goes with east becomes 100% and so on and so forth and um, you know to uh, akil savesment <laughs> the grand total is not there there's no 300% or whatever so obviously it doesn't make sense that's the reason why it's not there clear na so what it does huh? okay all right so let's go back and uh, actually let's choose something else okay um this is something i have not experimented but uh, i'm just showing it to you guys here so let's take category right here okay instead of region we are selecting uh category and you can see for each category um, furniture category it becomes 100% right here okay and now it will hide anything above it central it has hidden just like the grand total uh, got hidden clear na yes hmm? uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. what if i choose uh, this parent location that is not in the graph ah that's a good question i'm coming to uh, right to that only so if you actually choose let's say let's take you you take city okay and uh, you select this guess what happens will it add city in the field view <laughs> maybe some error excel is not that intelligent all right <laughs> okay so it gives you a good message okay and that's what it is not applicable okay yeah if it if it uh, is not applicable it will just say it's not applicable and it that's where it leaves it okay so i will quickly go back to segment here okay uh oh sorry segment oh what did i do uh it has uh, chosen the wrong one but it has given 100% here which one did i choose um segment huh i wonder what this calculation is i don't know what this calculation is but uh, yeah, each and every segment as 100% ha huh. but oh we have the segment right here right ha uh -huh. so the segment is in the view so it, it just made that 100% okay uh so let me just go back to i just want to select the category right here um uh, great okay so this is so far as percentage of parent is concerned um so now we have uh let me just go back right here again all right um percentage of parent total and we have uh okay there's actually one more interesting one see the rest of them are pretty similar uh, so you have one more you have percentage of parent row total and column total as well uh, so this is basically does it instead of for a uh, row it will do for column and so on um, and uh, we can actually quickly check this as well let me see okay there you go um so we have done this for percentage of row total okay um and we have selected category so uh basically let me just down a little bit and um okay so um so it is saying percentage of parent row total um so the parent is obviously the region at this point okay but it's actually doing it uh for segment which is a uh, little different from what uh i had looked at yesterday uh 
let's look at percentage of parents column total okay um hmm. this is doing something a little different from what um i think it would do which is you know for each um uh row for column it's doing row and it's the other way around okay uh, i'm not so sure i'll i'll come back to this i thought i had it sorted yesterday but uh, it's not okay um see so far as others are concerned uh these are uh fairly straightforward so you can actually select a specific category right and it's going to show uh values as a difference from that particular number okay um so furniture is what we had selected so furniture it will show blank um so let me just see what's going on here so in category category is right there uh it is not showing for any of the sub categories that's what is going on here so what i'll do here is i will remove the sub category from view okay and then you will see that the rest of the numbers are differences from furniture okay and that is there for each of the region as well so if i just remove the region also out you are actually seeing the numbers as a difference from the total okay for of for furniture clear now huh? yes okay so all right so let's go back here uh then i will um, there is one more interesting one i will spend a little more time on that um so difference from uh, after that you get uh percentage difference from and then you have running total and then percentage running total and you also have rank okay smallest to largest largest to smallest okay i'm skipping all of these things because they are pretty self explanatory is that fine yes guys okay all right so now we have something called an index okay uh what do you think it does <laughs> will it uh, give the like uh, some serial sort serial number sort of thing for the category since we selected category so it has its actually own definition let me just go back and let's go to index here so um i'm going to remove this for now so uh so what i did was so this is the index all right uh and this is the basically some uh basically the same thing in values i have just copy pasted right there um and these are the this is the output it gives okay you can see here the grand total uh, seems to give 111 one, one right here and it uh, and for grand totals of columns also it gives one and uh, uh and it gives you certain numbers here okay these numbers are not really uh, you know you cannot understand them right away unless you know a certain function okay so um this is what it is so basically uh this is the formula it uses okay it uses value in cell times grand total of grand totals divided by a uh, grand row total times grand column total so i'll just show you the formula okay so it takes this number okay uh times basically the grand total of all the rows and columns okay divided by grand total of the row divided by grand total of the column okay so that's the number it gives 1.04 i'll just show you the other number so 1.04.98.91 okay so this is the number it gives it says basically i think you'll have to you know, extend a little bit but that that's what the number is okay so uh how is it useful i'm not so sure how is it useful because it has its own uh uh like a formula that it uses okay um so um, maybe there are some statistical uses to this uh, it's not clear what it is useful for uh, so wherever you have that kind of a specific uh, function that you want to calculate this does this automatically that's that's the only thing okay cool all right great uh all right let's go back uh, to one of the sheets okay so um all right so let's come here so i'll cover <clears throat> a little bit of some of the other so basically uh i'm skipping actually things that um uh, are more formatting focused uh, and things like that i'm picking up only the ones that are, are relevant to us okay uh because um yeah so uh so yeah if you look at this pivot table analyze i i was showing you <clears throat> options so um 
so there are a few layout options but here this is something that we'll typically uh, use uh, this is something that I Akhil had talked about so basically you can show or hide grand totals uh, for each of them okay this is something that you can do um, there are certain display related ones um, not getting into that um, uh, so there is one more so there's something called enable show detail this is something I would uh, like to cover so basically whenever you see a certain value for example uh, let me just bring this back instead of person to utilize this no calculation so let's say if you want to know uh, what a certain number is made of okay so for example uh, 183,304 okay you're seeing that for technology and home office right and you want to see this number uh, and you want to see the total so uh, of this so basically what you can do is you can just double click this okay and when you double click this you will be able to get all the data that is related just to that particular number okay if you take sales let's just go back to sales um, and total that up okay so uh, okay you can see 183304 can you see that at the bottom yes okay yeah so that is what it is so you can do that uh, but there is uh, one um, question that I had I wanted to find out and you know I thought maybe it will work and I wanted to see how it works uh, but it did not work but I'll tell you what did not work also all right so let us say for example uh, you change this uh, you go back to field settings and let's say you choose uh, percentage of grand total as an example okay and you click on it now you have the 7.98 percent okay now you want to know what 7.98 percent is made of okay and the calculation you double click it you just get back to the same table <laughs> you don't get you don't get calculations okay so for example there are no extra columns right here okay showing the calculation it's just whatever we had uh, we got just a minute ago when we clicked on that uh, total that's the same thing that we get okay all right so let's get back uh, okay okay right here all right um, okay so that is one part let me just show you one other thing so typically whenever you want to do some calculations right in uh, in pivot table so you want to do calculations of certain numbers uh, so for example you just wanted to know uh, what percentage is this divided by this for example okay you will get that but if you look at the formula the formula is like this okay uh, it has you know so I have never bothered to really understand this particular formula right uh, so because it seems very manually written so you say get pivot uh, data and then you have you know sales and then you can see uh, a5 we have selected sum of sales okay and then it gives you a certain you know combination right and divided by a similar thing right are you guys getting it yes. so it, it auto picks up that formula okay uh, so however sometimes you would like to so oh, the, the bad part by the way is if you just copy paste it it will just copy paste the exact entire formula right and it doesn't do any changes so typically you have the rows and the columns being changed right so that it you know that sort of helps us in doing a lot more calculations it doesn't happen so what you can do here is uh, so instead of uh, doing a select automatically what you can do is you can do equals let's say d8 uh, upon uh, d7 okay now it picks up the formula now you can copy paste that and then it will have a the formula that you typically get okay so uh yeah so this is one other thing that i wanted to cover let me just see there is probably maybe just one more thing huh so um we will come to slicers in the next one all right uh but there is a refresh right you can do refresh refresh all refresh uh does refresh of just this pivot okay refresh all if there are other pivots it'll uh, refresh all of the pivots in that particular uh, file okay probably it can uh, I'm not so sure if it does uh, all the sources see it says latest data by refreshing all the sources in the workbook okay but it doesn't refresh other workbooks that might be open okay that's uh, just FYI all right um, so the other thing that I wanted to cover is this so you have uh, so uh, quickly change data source that that option is there 
so as long as the new data source is in exactly the same format as the previous data source it will refresh okay all right so uh, one other thing so basically you have uh, clear all etc this is fine uh, so you have something called uh, you can select entire pivot table uh, i think if it is too large maybe you will be able to use that but uh, you have something called enable selection so what is that enable selection let me so so once you mouse over do you see that cursor changing to uh, a different right arrow the black right arrow yes yeah? sir. so when you click on it it will get selected okay. okay so how it helps is let's say if you want to move this okay uh, you can see that uh, cursor changing to select and uh, you have that four sided arrow mm -hmm. okay you can just click on that and move it to the top and it will change okay okay so when you want custom location of a specific field you will be able to do that okay so uh, uh, can, uh, yeah will the calculation will change accordingly like uh, we are doing the percentage of oh yes and next. all the yes all of them will change yes yeah so uh, yeah this is um, i felt that this is what it does but i can we can test it all right uh, so let me just go back. Uh, let's do this uh, field setting. Okay. So did I? Did we change that? Oh, we did change it, right? So so furniture was above, office supplies was below. Okay. So let me just uh, go back. Uh, percentage of, and then I'll select previous, and let's see what happens right here. So actually, let's do percentage of a. Uh, okay. I will will stick to this okay so i will select office supplies right here in fact office supplies got moved to the top right here if you can see okay uh so yeah it has changed right there but anyway right now we have selected office supplies um so let me just go back here and let's say we'll select previous okay yeah it has done that so what's supposed to happen is that the top one is supposed to have percent and the rest of them as a percentage of that that's exactly what has happened hmm? even after we have changed it clear now uh, change it now then it's going to update or it the same okay that's a good question uh we can just do it right here Okay. Um, okay. So let me just uh, just staying on the same topic, right? Uh, so you can, if you disable selection, what happens? Now uh, you don't get that. Let me see if the move happens. I think it looks like the move can potentially work. The move is still working. Yeah. Okay. So it is just the select that is not working, but the move is working just like it used to work. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. So. It is uh, 9.40 right now, so I will uh, hold here. So there are some others like uh, insert slicer um, uh, and there are certain other things like the calculations, uh, calculated field, etc. We'll come to that next time, okay? Uh, just to give you a quick recap of what we did uh, this time. Uh, so we essentially drilled down a little further into all of these. So basically show values uh, and in that we explored all of these various uh, table calculations okay uh, sorry not the table calculations do what uh, calculations so percentage of grand total uh, column total row total percentage of and so on and so forth and uh, the index and so on so this is what we did and we looked at certain few other uh, options and so on and so forth okay all right uh, so yeah that's it for now i will stop sharing my screen